Hello, and welcome to another First Impression video. I'm Drew Wilson from FreezeNet. Today we are going to be playing the 2002 Steam RPG game, Dungeon Siege. This is the first game in a small series. So, I've got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's see what this game is all about. So, this is the game called Dungeon Siege, and this is what you first see when you start playing it. Mouse to interact with the world, checks around, interact, click, place. Pointer, yeah, there's a, <laughs> yeah, you get almost a, <laughs> quite a few number of paragraphs, too. Let's see then you're pressing F12. Okay, so Okay. Huh. Snap chair leg. So far it has the controls of uh Diablo, although you can't hold necessarily and all you got to all you got right out like for a storyline was that basically someone was just um, someone showed up and it, something was being attacked that's about it didn't really get much else so yeah as the game suggests you can move the cursor around and change the camera a little bit. No holding though, I was very surprised. I'm already kind of surprised by that, but uh, this is an early game. So, an interesting thing about this, um, trying to get this game to run, even on Steam, which is, for a lot of people, it's quite the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, like I had to go into like any files and adjust it. If your health gets below one third, your character portrait will flash yellow to warn you. You can regain health, health potions and mana potions. That sounds a lot like Diablo. <laughs> So click on the pause button to pause Dungeon Siege at any time. You can issue orders such as drinking potions while Dungeon Siege is paused. Okay. So. Health potion is H. Okay. So it looks like the health is over there. Small health potion. Uh, journal. Friends. So I think this is where you get ideas of your objectives. Open map. Hide labels. All the game options. Open or close inventory. There we go. Ah, okay. You know, this layout actually... Um, Reminds me more of the another RPG game I played a little while ago, um, oh, and of course the name is now escaping me. I'll probably remember it right after the recording is over. Uh, release a small bolt of electricity. So that's kind of like your um, spell thing. Skill level one. What happens if I right click. Act of spell one, act of spell two. It's probably a hotkey associated with that. I'll eventually figure this stuff out. I usually do. It just takes a bit of takes a bit of time and practice. And a load zone too. Interesting. 
Ah, okay, so you can kind of go through spells and stuff up here. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure at this point in time it looks like it just plays like a normal Diablo game, but uh, there's no holding for movement. I can already tell it's different. Uh, let's change the point of view. Screen move. Also control the camera and go press the arrow keys. Okay, interesting. Not often I get to use arrow keys in games. Plus and minus keys. Okay, plus and minus keys. That's plus, that's minus. Okay, plus, minus. Is the num lock on? Nope. So not on the num key, on the actual keyboard itself. So that's kind of interesting. But um, some of you might be wondering like how am I recording this because there's so many problems with re even just recording this game. And believe it or not, I'm recording via window mode, which a lot of people, as it turns out, have huge problems with trying to record, like trying to get this to work in a windowed mode as opposed to full screen. And when it's full screen, there's a flicker, and I've noticed the flicker myself. Oscar's advanced level 1 melee skills by fighting with melee weapons. Ah, so... As you use your skills, you actually gain kind of experience points specifically in the, in those skill sets, which I find... I always found that interesting. I think that was in uh, Final Fantasy 2, where you use something and then you basically get strength from that because it's kind of like experience points for that specific skill. So that's kind of interesting. There we go. But anyway, um, when I tried to record in full screen mode, it was just, like, it was almost all gray screen with a flicker of, like, the actual footage, and it was unusable. Totally unusable footage when I was testing it. Never played it, but I was testing it. And it was pretty bad. So... What I ended up doing was using instructions meant for people who have the CD version. And I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description below uh, for um, the, the software I used and uh, the instructions I used. It's, the instructions are very straightforward in all honesty and you almost don't even need it. But the program I used to get this to work is a program called DXWND. And essentially what all that does is kind of intercept going into full screen and makes basically makes it go into uh, windowed mode through an external emulator. And it's supposed to be really good for older games, so I'm going to try and use that from now on for older games that kind of refuse to cooperate as an option. And maybe that'll improve the video quality for some of these video games that would otherwise have an annoying flicker or whatever give it a shot anyway but uh, yeah if you're curious how I got this to work I'll tell you all about the uh, I'll leave a link in the description below hopefully I'll remember <laughs> but uh, yeah it's a pain to get this to run trying to go into config and manually adding these things into the into via text file it's ah oh. open your inventory equip different items which I just found out click and drag items to move in between them and your equipped weapons and Okay, so you can click and drag over. Okay. You can also drag spells into your spellbook, which I just found out. You can just do right clicking. Um, drag spells too, so I guess that's also an option. <laughs> Switch between melee weapons range. You can spell an appropriate icon. Yeah. I ended up finding that on my own. So. <laughs> Funny. Funny that I figured it out before the game t gives me the prompts. Sometimes that happens. I don't mind. Let's me know I'm kind of doing things correctly. There we go. Thought I saw something down here. I am being attacked. Okay. Okay, that's not an enemy. That, however, is. It's a 
fairly automated uh, game in the grand scheme of things, I have to say. Wow, that's sus. Awesome. Um, so we made it to this. It looks like a small village. And just like that. It's amazing how much time flies when I'm doing these things. So, that is it for Dungeon Siege, believe it or not, for our first impression video. Um, gonna be interesting to see, like, how the controls end up working out. Like, if it's gonna be annoying, or if it's gonna be automated, if it makes it boring, makes it interesting. I don't know. I'm I, This is all very new to me, and turns out very new for a lot of you as well, because I was talking to people and saying they're saying yeah I've, ne I've never heard of it and i never heard of this I, like i've heard of this game but i've never actually played it I didn't know anything about it so this is all new to me as well so i'm kind of curious to see how this all goes so um that leads us to our questions for you um does this look like an interesting game it is a 2002 game so i think for some of you it might be a little too old for your taste who knows um does that does this seem like an interesting game for you to try or check out? Um, yeah, there's a, there's a there's some configure there's a configuration issue you got to deal with in Steam ver in the Steam version, but uh, it can be overcome. I'll uh, try and uh, dig up everything I can and just leave that all in the description below. Um, for those of you who have played it, was this a great game? Do you have fond memories of this game? Um, does this uh, does this complement other game experiences? Like, would you, for those who played certain other games, that uh, would you like? Would you recommend those people a, the, check this out too? Like, if you played Diablo, would you say, oh yeah, if you played Diablo, definitely check this game out? Is that an interesting angle for that for you? So uh, yeah, it's, comments comment section is all about you. That's for sure. Um, so. Uh, the the other thing too is that um, if you want to support our channel, there is plenty of ways you can do that. Uh, there is you can just drop us a like, lets us know, hey, you're doing a great job, keep up the good work. It really helps us out. Just even dropping us a like, it helps us out a lot. And uh, if you want to get real time notifications, uh, you can subscribe and turn on notifications. Even just subscribing, that also helps out a lot. So definitely help us out by subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. And uh, there's there's other aspects to our to this because this is all part of FreezeNet, right? So um, if you want to check out our website, FreezeNet.ca, you can get all these music reviews, video game reviews. You can get all this tech news, digital rights news, copyright news, file sharing news, that sort of thing. We cover a broad range of topics on that site, privacy, that sort of thing. So definitely worth checking out too is uh, our website, freezenet.ca. And um, in addition to that, we have a full-fledged wiki you can check out, and it helps you explore music. It's a great wiki. We're constantly adding stuff on a re semi-regular basis. It's a little busy this time of year, but uh, we are adding, we're still adding stuff to that too. Uh, you can also subscribe to our Patreon page if you want to be more directly in our in, our, in supporting us. That's patreoncom freezenet. You can subscribe to a tier. You can get insider information, that sort of thing. Like people, Patreons knew that I'll be playing Dungeon Siege uh, pretty far in advance, actually, so they knew this was coming. And if you want to know if that's coming, then that's one one of many things you can get out of Patreon there. So patreon.com slash freezenet. Be sure to check it out and subscribe to a tier if you want to support us. And if subscriptions isn't your thing, then there's coffee.com slash freezenet. And you can do, give us a one-time coffee donation and uh, let us know you're doing a good job and we want to support you in a small way. Every little bit helps. Everything goes to freezenet operations. So, yeah, all great stuff. And that is all for now. And until next time, keep it cool.